Okay, well, let's get started. Looks like everybody's joined and uh, gotten started. And uh, for those who are still joining, I apologize, but we got to move on. <laughs> I want to penalize the rest of us who got here on time. So, uh, thanks everybody for joining. Once again, I appreciate it tremendously. Uh, today, we uh, today's Solid Six webinar is uh, titled "Simplifying." Windows Server 2012 R2 Remote Access Deployments. I'm going to take you through some deployment scenarios with the uh, new Celestix Cloud Edge Security Solution and demonstrate how that does indeed allow you to streamline and simplify your uh, direct access, or excuse me, your remote access uh, deployments. Before we get started, though, a brief introduction about both myself and the company. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Richard Hicks. I am the Director of Technical Services for Celestix Networks. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional in the Enterprise Security Discipline and Expertise. Um, I have a number of uh, standard Microsoft certifications. I've been in the field for quite some time. Um, spent uh, most of my 20 years in IT working with network and information security specifically and, and really specializing in the area of edge security and remote access, perimeter defense, those types of things. Celestix Networks, if you're not familiar with them, of course, has been security experts for uh, a number of years. We've been around since uh, 1999, started business uh, quite a few years ago. Originally started out life as a checkpoint hardware provider. We were uh, originally building checkpoint uh, appliances for, uh, for the old checkpoint software. Uh, we do have a uh, worldwide presence, of course. We have offices all over, uh, all over the world. We, our headquarters, corporate headquarters is based in the Bay Area in uh, Fremont, California. But we do have offices in uh, Europe and the UK uh, and, of course, in uh, Asia as well. We have uh, countless customers that have deployed our security and remote access solutions uh, the last uh, 10 or 15 years or so. And um, our solutions are available through a number of different uh, uh, venues, avenues, and so forth. So uh, we do sell uh, through the channel, so you can find our solutions available uh, anywhere around the world through your favorite partner, reseller, or distributor. So the challenge, uh, and we talked a little bit about this during last month's webinar, uh, and if you weren't able to attend that, I would encourage you to go back and look at that because we talked about the specific challenges around deploying remote access today. And that challenge is really the diverse requirements for client support. Traditionally uh, and historically, uh, direct access was uh, pretty simple. I mean, certainly when I got into the IT field, uh, it was exclusive for uh, administrators. We had to worry about Windows PCs and, and a small subset of users, and that was it. And of course, those were the ultimate power users because they were the administrators. Today, that's not the case. Uh, providing secure remote access for, um, you know, a, 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 across the breadth of, of uh, hardware platforms that we have today is significant challenge, significantly challenging, and also it's, <laughs> it's uh, further made complex by the fact that we have to support, um, you know, much more users than we did uh, historically. So we have to provide, we have to develop a solution that provides a secure remote access for our managed clients, for our non-managed clients, our mobile devices. Um, we have to decide whether or not we want to provide network level access or just access to individual applications? Do we want to provide access to virtual desktops? Uh, do we have a need or a requirement to do that? Well, if we do, and, and again, to meet all of these, I think the solution of choice is the Celestix Cloud Edge Security Platform. Uh, the Celestix Cloud Edge Security Solution is a comprehensive remote access solution built on Windows Server 2012 R2 Unified Remote Access. It's delivered on the Celestix Advanced Hardware Appliance Platform. Now this is a uh, dedicated purpose-built solution. This is not a white box solution. This is not an industry standard server that we've simply bolted our nameplate onto the front of. This is again, uh, these are dedicated purpose-built uh, hardware appliances that are designed and are workload specific and workload tuned to deliver the highest performance. Again, they are turnkey and ready to deploy. They feature a certified configuration with predictable performance so that you can have and, and really ensure the best success for your remote access and edge security deployments and ensure the best performance for your remote access users. So, as I mentioned, the Celestix Cloud Edge Security Solution is a comprehensive secure remote access solution that meets all of our remote access needs. It provides direct access for our managed clients. It provides a client-based VPN for our non-managed clients. And it also includes 
uh, web application proxy to provide application publishing. So if we want to give access to individual applications as opposed to network level access, we have that capability. It does include a remote desktop gateway and it does support uh, streaming applications through remote apps. So all of that is available through uh, the uh, remote desktop gateway and remote app functionality of the solution. And finally, it has workplace join and work folders, which allows us to address some data access needs and requirements for organizations for mobile devices. So the, the workplace join work folders allows us to extend um, a corporate file share and use that as a um, as a uh, file repository and as the source for synchronizing data to mobile clients. So how does all of this and how does the solution ultimately simplify our remote uh, access deployments? Well. Today, and really the, most of the, the, the session today will be uh, demonstration based. So what I want to do is actually walk you through a deployment scenario where we take the Celestix Cloud Edge Security Appliance and we deploy it to meet some needs for a customer. And today we're going to actually deploy direct access. Now, out of the interest of time, some of this is already pre-configured, but we'll walk you through the steps and how you would do that um, and, and, and uh, demonstrate how we can actually use this to simplify the deployment for remote access. So the first step in deploying the Cloud Edge Security Appliance is obviously the physical installation of the appliance. And here I can't understate, I can't uh, state this emphatically enough, is that this appliance lends itself very well to rapid deployment, especially in uh, remote locations. Um, that would be uh, data centers that are not uh, physically where the administrators reside, or perhaps it's not even it's in a shared facility like a, uh, a co-location facility. Uh, with our appliance platform, uh, we can deliver it to, for example, a co-location. Uh, you can connect the, um, the IPMI port, which is our out-of-band management interface, to a DHCP subnet or uh, assign an IP address through the um, front panel control dial and the uh, LED display panel. And then uh, you can use out-of-band management in that fashion. You could also just simply connect it to uh, the subnet where the appliance will ultimately reside in a production subnet, assign an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway right through the front panel. Uh, so it's designed, again, for completely headless operation. And any you know, server administrator or any, um, anybody who's, who's doing the racking and stacking in your colo or in your data center will be able to do that. Give them an IP address or they'll assign you an IP address. And then once you have that, you can completely install, configure, manage, and monitor the solution using uh, nothing more than the Celestix web-based management console. And I'll demonstrate that here. <clears throat> so the initial configuration of the appliance, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, would involve uh, you know, joining the box to the domain, renaming it, um, those types of things. <clears throat> and um, anyway, <clears throat> with that, we can um, uh, you know, perform those management features and capabilities, and we'll show you how to do that right through the through the configuration through the web-based management console. The deployment, of course, um, we can actually we're going to go through deploying some roles. We have one already pre-deployed because it takes a fair amount of time to actually deploy it. But for the interest of time and brevity, of course, we'll we'll show you how to do that uh, as well. And there are some management and monitoring capabilities. Again, all done through the remote access management console, or excuse me, all done through the Celestix web UI or web-based management management console, and I'll demonstrate that for you as well. So uh, on to the demonstration. So we're uh, going to go ahead and, and uh, log on or actually go to a machine that I already have set up here that is configured. Uh, and this is just a uh, basic Windows 8 client. Uh, I have already racked, stacked, cabled, IP addressed my um, uh, appliance, and I'm ready to go. So the quick setup information, of course, this is common to all of the Celestix uh, appliance platform, is it allows us to be able to, again, using only the web management console, not having to RDP into the box, not having to uh, install management tools on this box. We can uh, configure our network interfaces. We can set the date and time on the appliance, change, of course, the administrator password, which is an excellent idea, <laughs> of course. Um, change the name of the server, because obviously we ship these with um, some rather cryptic, uh, unique names so you can use your naming conventions and, and so forth. Join the system to the domain, which in our deployment scenario today is required because we're using direct access. Direct access does require domain membership. Some of the other uh, capabilities do not. So today 
we're demonstrating direct access, so we will, it's actually joined to the domain. Of course, you can set up alert emails so that when the appliance generates alerts, it can actually email, uh, administer, or excuse me, email those to an administrator proactively. And so once we're done, uh, we can go through uh, and, and finish the setup and ultimately have the box ready to deploy some uh, roles. So I have done all of this because joining the server to the domain is pretty trivial and pretty compulsory for even your most junior administrator, so I don't think we need to demonstrate that today. So this, this uh, physical appliance now is on my network. It's joined to my domain. I've logged into the web-based management console, and I'm ready to proceed. So now I'll actually proceed to uh, the uh, uh, configuring roles and features on the appliance itself. And again, this solution supports a number of different remote access technologies, direct access, client-based VPN, site-to-site -site VPN, uh, web application proxy, remote desktop, remote app, a number of different things. So, of course, it can be deployed in, in all of those roles or in a subset of them. And if we want to take a look at this, we just click on the features. You'll see it's going to take us to uh, the features list. I've already installed remote access with VPN, so that's already configured. But if I wanted to also at the same time use this as a remote desktop gateway, I could certainly do that as well. Uh, it's as simple as one-click button or one-click install uh, for this. I don't have to wade through um, the clunky, uh, you know, uh, management console, the graphical UI in in the appliance. I don't have to RDP to it. I don't have to install management tools. I don't have to wade through uh, all of that. I don't have to go out and do the research on what PowerShell commands I have to run and what switches I have to configure. I can just simply click install and you'll see that uh, that uh, the solution is actually going to, to go ahead and start that role. Also, you'll understand or you'll notice here that when I installed the remote access, or excuse me, the remote desktop gateway role, that the network policy server, which is a requirement for remote desktop gateway, also gets installed. So you don't have to even understand that. I just know that I want to deploy a remote desktop gateway. I click on it. And then behind the scenes, uh, behind the scenes, we have logic that installs the roles, the services, the role features, all of those things for you. And then uh, once once uh, once that's installed, we can then go in and manage the actual uh, um, uh, the actual feature. So there you go. So one of those is complete. This one will complete here shortly. Uh, and again, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and proceed because we've already done this for direct accesses, which is what I really want to demonstrate today. So at this point, I'm going to come back to um, uh, this tab, and uh, at this point, we can actually configure direct access. Now, again, uh, we can't configure direct access programmatically on the appliance because it's unique for each individual deployment, but we do provide you access to the remote access management console, <clears throat> which is where you would complete uh, the installation and configuration for your unique environment. So after clicking on the link, it's going to open the Remote Access Management Console, and we deliver that to you via the Remote App feature. And if I can type my password in correctly, um, what will happen is the Remote Access Management Console will launch here. And of course, I don't have this installed on my workstation. I've just simply done this through the Web Management Console. So what this means for you as an administrator is it means that you can administer and manage and maintain and monitor your uh, remote access appliance anywhere from any machine as long as it has network connectivity and, and has access via the browser. <clears throat> I don't have to have uh, any proprietary management tools installed anywhere to be able to manage this solution. So here, and again, in the, uh, in the interest of time and brevity, uh, I've already configured direct access in my deployment. Um, so uh, if this was a new Greenfield deployment, of course, I would run through the, the uh, deployment wizards, supply the information that was unique to my environment, and deploy this and, go, and, and move forward from there. Now, uh, the nice thing about this, of course, is that um, if I come back to, the, um, uh, come back to this panel, um, since I've already deployed direct access here, and again, this goes to the simple, uh, you know, the the the, uh, um, the over uh, the overall um, feature of of this particular webinar, in that I'm trying to simplify my uh, direct access or my remote access deployment. Here, uh, of course, I can get some information via uh, the dashboard for remote access. Now, uh, if you have any familiarity with direct access, you know that it has some dashboard capabilities built into the native remote access management console, but they're somewhat clunky. 
and of course they require that you have that installed on your workstation or that you RDP into the box. Here we've actually taken that information and uh, presented it to you in a web form and of course it's much more intuitive and it also features uh, interactivity and drill down capabilities. Now, so for example I can uh, get an overview of who's connecting uh, and what connect, uh, technologies they're connecting with. This is a new environment so unfortunately it doesn't show well here when I'm clicking on these uh, so we can't see uh, anything more than uh, the last couple of days. Uh, but you get the sense of, uh, you know, we get a high-level overview of the connection status and, and the, uh, the status and health of our underlying supporting services, uh, some overview about client connections and so forth. If I go to uh, the remote access reports, and I think this is extremely compelling here, because this is where Celestix has extended and enhanced significantly the native uh, monitoring and reporting tools that are a part of direct access. Uh, the direct access reporting features are fairly rudimentary, and here we've actually extended that and made it much more intuitive and also highly interactive. So here I go, and, and uh, I, I can look at the connections uh, by user type, and then I have a number of different dates. And so you'll see that uh, I have a number of different options that I can choose. I can look by the connection type. I can use look by users by host name. And of course, clicking on that will drill down. Uh, if I look at a particular connection and I want to have more information about this particular connection, if I highlight it, you'll see that it does bring me some additional information here. So I can see that this client uh, accessing at this particular time was uh, viewing uh, or was making connections to these specific ports. The nice thing here also is that I can change the dates. So if I click here, I can look at today, yesterday, the last seven, 30 days, what have you. I can define a custom range and I can apply that. If I had more detail uh, in the log database, I could share with you some of that, but I think you get this general sense is that this is much, much more intuitive and much more um, uh, discoverable certainly than the native reporting tools that are built into direct access. Um, you do have the ability to take these reports and output them to uh, a, a number of different file formats. So it's important a lot of times for administrators to bubble up this information to their management and so forth. So I can output this to PDF or uh, CSV, Excel. Uh, I can even copy it to the clipboard and then um, just paste that onto uh, an email if I need to do something like that. So if I'm, or I'm doing some troubleshooting. Uh, so there's a number of different capabilities here. And again, this is all uh, Celestix proprietary information built into the Celestix web-based management console and available to users <coughs> for direct access and VPN uh, that are using our uh, appliance solution. So the next thing I wanted to demonstrate, and again, I think that um, staying on the theme of simplifying the deployment, uh, the hardware, the, the hardware solution, and and the the uh, uh, comprehensiveness of the solution, the fact that it has all of these capabilities built in, is essential, and I think is really kind of drives home that point of simplifying your deployments. But a part of simplifying the deployment is also simplifying and streamlining the management and the reporting. And so you saw that with the remote access dashboard, uh, and and uh, the remote access access reports. But another component of that, and, and really uh, really with Celestix going above and beyond and trying to uh, kind of simplify even the, the client-side diagnostics, is that we've provided some new capabilities with regards to that. Now, uh, if you've dealt with direct access, you know that uh, once it's working, it generally just works. But when it stops working, it sometimes can be difficult and cumbersome to uh, perform troubleshooting. There are a number of uh, you know command lines, uh, tools, and and things, and even GUI tools that can be used to to troubleshoot direct access. But often it requires kind of you know tribal knowledge, detailed uh, you know intimate knowledge of the inner workings of direct access. And a lot of administrators uh, either don't have the time for that, or just you know don't have the resources, or haven't gotten up to speed on that at this point. And so they're looking for any way that they can simplify the uh, troubleshooting for direct access uh, and remote access um, uh, client troubleshooting. So here what we have is we have the direct access client-side diagnostics. And again, this is a Celestix proprietary tool integrated with the web-based management console that streamlines and simplifies client-side troubleshooting for direct access. And I'll actually demonstrate that here in one second. So from an, from an administrator perspective, uh, this is the administrative console here. Um, this is where a client will actually log on to a URL and run automatically run uh, the client-side diagnostic troubleshooting tool, which will automatically and programmatically generate those reports and send them to back to the management console for a 
uh, for an administrator to view. So what I want to demonstrate is what that looks like from the client side. So I'm going to take this client. This client has two network interfaces. One is on my corporate network. And the other is connected directly to the public internet. So I'm going to change this to um, so that the client actually resides outside my corporate network. So it's going to be connected directly to the public internet. And so the purpose here for the demonstration, of course, is to demonstrate uh, the experience from a client who's outside of the corporate office who perhaps is having some uh, connectivity issues with direct access. So uh, in this case, of course, direct access is working, but we can at least walk through the deployment scenario and you can see how this works. So we're uh, outside the public, uh, we're outside on the public network or on the public internet and um, we're going to go ahead and log into a URL that our administrator has sent us. So I've called the help desk. I've said, hey, direct access isn't working. Um, the administrator uh, has said, okay, visit this URL and uh, run this diagnostic. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I'm going to click on the, uh, the link here for the DA test runner. What this does is it actually goes out, downloads the Microsoft client direct access client uh, side diagnostics tools, runs it programmatically for us, and then submits the uh, detailed um, uh, uh, access logs or di uh, uh, diagnostic logs back to the appliance. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and run it. <coughs> And it's not signed just yet, so we'll have to click Run anyway. Should have that resolved hopefully soon. So at this point, the client-side diagnostics is actually running for us. It's going to go out, get the tool, create the log, run the test, and then submit that log file back to the, to the uh, console. So it's actually finished running. So we're done. And now let's jump back over to uh, the CorpNet. So I'm going to put my client back on the CorpNet. And then you can view this from the administrator side. So now I am the administrator. I'm going to log back into my uh, management console. And we'll come back over here to client side diagnostics. And you will see now that the uh, client has uploaded a, uh, a an access log, and you can see the obviously the username, the time that they've try uh, they, they've uploaded this, and so if I highlight that, what you'll see is that the client connection log is now displayed for us. So as the administrator, I can now go through this log and, um, you know, I try to identify what it is that is broken on the client side, perhaps uh, offer some troubleshooting assistance or maybe do a remote session with the, the, uh, the remote client to resolve an issue uh, or what have you. So, but I, as the administrator, I don't have to have the user go out and download the tool, run the tests, email me the log. I can just do that in an automated and programmatic fashion, which again, stream streamlines and simplifies uh, the direct access troubleshooting experience. You'll also see here that I do have the ability to download this information, so if I just want to download it to a text file, I can certainly do that uh, as well, and then I have all that detailed information uh, at my fingertips. So again, streamlining the uh, troubleshooting process uh, is, is, was definitely a uh, uh, certainly an important achievement with the Celestix Cloud Edge security appliance and the platform, making it uh, much easier for you guys to troubleshoot those capabilities. So, um, let's, uh, I mean, the rest of the web-based management console is um, fairly standard and straightforward, and again, um, not so much having to do with streamlining your deployment, but making it easier to manage and maintain the solution. Uh, if I click on the status tab, I have the ability to look at various inf information like uh, system information alerts. I can look at the event viewer. I can even open the resource monitor on the appliance and uh, do some performance uh, analysis as well. Uh, I have the ability to um, manage and maintain and manipulate all of the settings and configuration having to do with network interfaces, uh, create um, static routes. Again, no need when, with the Celestix appliance to use native management tools, command line tools, or even RDP into the appliance. You'll see at no point did I actually have to uh, establish an RDP session to the appliance to be able to effectively manage and maintain it. So, 
Um, anyway, so that's about it. I want to go back now. Uh, that kind of wraps up the demonstration. So I just wanted to um, show you guys exactly what the Celestix Web Management Console is and does and how it can be used to simplify your uh, remote access deployments. Um, that kind of uh, pretty much wraps up the session before, unless we have any questions. So what I want to do is take the last few minutes of the session um, and uh, answer any questions you might have. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the questions box, and I will uh, endeavor to answer those for you. Uh, okay, so the first question is, do I have a cloud, does Celestix have a cloud solution? So the answer is uh, yes and maybe. <laughs> so it's kind of a vague question, but let me answer it in this way. So the Celestix Cloud Edge Security Solution um, does have some cloud integration capabilities. So the first one in the, that's included in the product today as it is shipping is uh, cloud uh, cross-premises network connectivity. So it has a site-to-site -site VPN gateway. It does integrate with uh, cloud services like Microsoft, Azure, Amazon Web Services, and it can enable cross-premises network connectivity and serve as your uh, direct or as your um, uh, gateway to uh, hosted infrastructure as a service in public clouds. You can also use the site site VPN gateway to establish business partner connectivity. You could uh, enable and, and leverage that for um, uh, uh, remote branch office connectivity. So there's a number of different ways that you can, uh, that you can do that uh, and leverage those capabilities as a part of uh, the solution. Now in the future I can tell you <laughs> that uh, we do have some new capabilities that are coming out that will be cloud focused uh, and I don't think I'm at liberty to say what those are uh, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to plead uh, NDA on this one so uh, I can't really share them with you but I can tell you that we do have some interesting solutions that will be uh, uh, very cloud-centric and cloud-based coming in the future. And, and if I can get permission to share that with you, I will do so. Uh, in addition, uh, you can guarantee that once we have those capabilities and they're ready for public consumption, that we will uh, share that information with you via webinar and, of course, via the Celestix website, social media, and so forth. Uh, next question, uh, virtual appliance, is this a, is a virtual appliance or a physical hardware? So our solution today is a physical hardware appliance platform. Uh, we don't have any virtual appliances today. Um, that is um, due to some limitations in licensing, but also we have a number of, uh, of customers, and, and one of the reasons that we exist, to be honest with you, is that uh, many of these solutions don't lend themselves to being uh, well to being virtualized. Uh, most remote access solutions, and specifically direct access, uh, are difficult to implement uh, at the highest levels and with the highest performance in a virtual environment. So our customers are seeking, uh, you know, uh, optimal solutions in terms of performance and reliability, and they're looking to do that on dedicated uh, workload-specific hardware as, if, as opposed to running that in a virtual uh, environment. Certainly, you could deploy direct access or any of these remote access technologies in a virtual environment for small you know, smaller businesses and so forth, but a lot of our enterprise customers are looking for dedicated solutions. In addition, um, you know, uh, deploying edge security solutions in a virtual environment is uh, not necessarily the best uh, security practice, and so a lot of our customers are, uh, who are very security conscious are looking to deploy dedicated uh, hardware uh, solutions that uh, they can mount in their, um, you know, in their equipment racks, um, in their wiring closets, and so forth. And they're looking to deploy those alongside their existing border routers, edge firewalls, IDS, IPS, those types of things. Uh, let's see. Do we have a session on uh, ADFS and SSO? We might have one of those in the future. Certainly, we didn't cover that today, but there's also a possibility that we could cover off on uh, our integration story with uh, Office 365 and other solutions that, uh, in the future. So that's good feedback. I'll let our marketing folks know that uh, there's some interest in that as well. Uh, next question, can I use both internal and external certificates with the solution? So the answer is yes. So direct access does support uh, 
uh, and require the use of internal certificates in some cases. So, for example, um, IPsec machine certificates uh, need to be issued from your internal PKI. Uh, the IPHTTPS certificate should be public. It should be issued with a, uh, by a third-party uh, certificate authority, although that is not, it's a recommendation and a good and a, and a best practice. It's not certainly a hard and fast requirement. I do work with uh, a number of, of large enterprises that manage their, in their PKI and manage all certificates, internal and external, using their internal PKI. And in those cases, they are definitely supported. And the only thing, the only thing you have to worry about there is the, um, uh, the certificate revocation list must be available externally uh, for internal PKI. So as long as the CRL is published and available to those clients, there's no reason why an internal PKI could not be used for any of the remote access solutions uh, for certificate authentication and, and so forth. All right, great questions, everybody. Um, all right, so we've run just a little bit past our allotted time, so that's not too bad. Um, I do appreciate everyone's time. If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to uh, visit the website. So we have a lot of information available online at celestics.com slash edge. You can drop a note to our sales team, sales at celestics.com, and uh, they should be able to answer any questions. If you have technical questions, you can go ahead and send them to them. They'll route them to me, and uh, I'll make sure that I'll get those answered. And if you have suggestions for um, future webinars, if there's anything that you'd like to see about our products and our solutions, don't hesitate to drop a note to sales at celestics.com. Let them know you're interested in seeing a future webinar about uh, about something we have, and we'd be happy to spin that up for you. Um, very good. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate your time, and uh, have a good rest of the week. Take care.